Now, I want to take you over to the top story tonight. This is a story that was actually covered by Eric and Joe on Patriot Radio News Hour, and I'll cover that on the blog roll. But this is a story out of Rhode Island. It's a tiny town, Central Falls, Rhode Island. And this is a fascinating story because if you followed the calls of Meredith Whitney and she is the be-all and the end-all of Wall Street and hedge fund analysts in regards to the upcoming municipal default and she's predicted within the next five years cascading municipal defaults. I don't think there's any question that she's correct. Of course, she's been pilloried from stem to stern on all the mainstream media, but I think this is an indication that her, her calls are becoming are showing to become correct so this is a story out of central falls rhode island let's read some of this so we can dig into it retired firefighters and police officers in central falls rhode island agreed to cut their pensions and support a plan that would likely give bondholders everything they are owed by the struggling city now the first thing you want to think about is why why is it so important that bondholders are given everything? Well, of course, because if you get a default situation such as we had, and they'll talk about it below, uh, in Vallejo, that could cause ripple effects through the muni bond market, and they don't even want to touch that. That is the 10 million ton elephant sitting in the middle of the room and they don't even want that to start so that's a snowball that's an avalanche that's something that nothing that none of the powers that be want to see start rolling but you can see these are some trickles these are some indications of what's going on would likely give bondholders everything they're owed by the struggling city the unusual arrangement is being watched closely by municipal bond investors and government officials across the US because it could be cloned in an effort to keep borrowing costs from spiraling higher in municipalities near financially shaky cities and counties. The deal also could spare Central Falls from a costly legal battle with retirees while giving bond investors more clarity about the security of their investments. Central Falls with a population of 19,300, now keep that in mind, this is the number of citizens in this town. Now, that's not necessarily the number of taxpayers. Keep that in mind. I covered that yesterday in a number of posts about how many, what percentage of the population actually pays taxes. So you can be guaranteed that this number is not the taxpayers. The taxpayers are much smaller, but we'll go with this number. So 19,300 and a severely underfunded pension plan filed for bankruptcy protection in August the city has about 20.5 million in bond debt and 47 million dollars in pension liabilities now if you multiply that or do the division on this you get a few thousand if you look at taxpayers you're looking at tens of thousands so I'd like to see the average wage in this city you may be talking about a large percentage you're talking about a top heavy situation here and when we look at the federal picture you'll see it's even worse than this but so you've got 19,300 population and a 47 million dollar pension liability as of Monday 82 of about 130 Central Falls workers had agreed to support the pension cuts which will total 25% over the next five years for many of the recipients, said Matthew McGowan, a lawyer, for about 100 police and fire retirees. So you've got about 100 police and fire retirees, and it looks like you've got about 130 active workers. So if I'm correct, you're talking about 250 that are working for government out of a population of 19,000. Now that's not really that bad of a ratio until you look at the level of compensation. 
a minimum of 75 retirees had to support the proposed agreement. The state appointed receiver overseeing Central Falls is expected in the next few days to ask a bankruptcy judge to approve the agreement with retirees, said Theodore Orson, a lawyer for the state. Before the city's financial collapse, Rhode Island lawmakers passed a law that puts bondholders first in line among all creditors of municipalities in the state. The retirees vowed not to challenge the state law as part of the agreement. Mr. McGowan said retirees backed the deal partly because the state director of revenue will ask lawmakers to appropriate about $2.6 million to help them cope with smaller pensions. Without the state aid, the cuts would be 55%. So now you have the state coming in and bailing out the municipality. Quote, we have many strong legal arguments, Mr. McGowan said, but in a practical sense, they don't get you very far if this city has no money. Now, I've got to stop there because I'm running out of time, but it's a fascinating story. You can go and do the numbers yourself. Look at the number of residents. Look at the number of taxpayers. Look at the number of government workers and look at the pensions they've been promised. And you can see that, as Meredith Whitney has pointed out, continually and been pilloried on all financial media that this is a bomb, a ticking time bomb. Now, I wanted to jump over to the national debt clock because that's going to give us the picture on the federal side. And I don't have a lot of time to spend here either. But one of the key tickers that I noticed here when I was on this site the other day is this ticker for federal pensions. Now if you'll know, and I've done the math ahead of time so I'm not going to bore you with the calculator, but if you look at this number for federal pensions you have, these are the largest budget items in the budget. You have Medicaid and Medicare, Social Security, Defense and Wars, Income Security, Net Interest on Debt, and Federal Pensions. Now the Federal Pensions come in as a $214 billion piece of the pie. Now the other figure you want to look at here is the number of federal employees. So you've got about 4,300,000 federal employees and you've got about $214 billion in yearly obligations. These are yearly obligations. So the first thing you want to notice is you're just going to take this number and divide it by this number to give you the amount of money that you're paying every year to, towards federal pensions. And I can tell you right now, because I've done the math, it's about 50000 So the other number you want to look at is this number here, the Social Security, the amount of the pension payroll or whatever the term is they're using now they're they're saying they're going to pass a tax cut and not tax this higher but in reality we're collecting about or not we're not collecting but this is what is going out 725 billion dollars a year is going out towards social security recipients and the recipients are down over on this red column here the number of Social Security recipients is in this U.S. retirees and SSI number. So you've got 66 million collecting this number. Now, the first thing that jumps out at you is that number's only about three times this number, yet this number of federal workers is 4 million and the number of retirees is 66 million. So when you do the math, what you find out is that federal employees get about fifty thousand dollars a year but social security retirees get about ten thousand so you have a five fold difference between government workers and the rest of the sheep that are paying into this system so that is the same as the bankruptcy we saw in the, mus the municipality in Rhode Island it's a extreme situation where a tiny population is paying for 
extravagant benefits for a percentage of government workers. These are basically a new royalty. These are people that believe that they deserve larger benefits than you get, than you pay for. They think they deserve a larger piece of the pie. So I'm going to call this section Pension Bomb because Meredith Whitney has laid it out. This is a bomb that is going to explode. It's going to explode and destroy all municipal debt, all state debt, all federal debt, and absolutely explode. And you're probably going to see, due to popular demand, a merger of this federal pension number and this Social Security number so that they get the same thing. That is my prediction.